Hello? Hi, it's me. Who's me? <laughs> Who's me? Good question. What? It's your long lost sister. Anna Ratofikov? <laughs> Ratofovsky. From the dark and distant land known as the Midwest. And where are you now? Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I wanna be a part of it. New York, New York. S these so, so you're not here yet? No, I am. I'm staying with a friend. On the Lower East Side? Ah. And where are you? I'm on the Upper East Side. Can you imagine we're talking after all these years? I mean, we probably never really spoke before. Probably just like gurgled through the bars of our cribs or something. I mean, you must have like a million questions. Just one, actually. Do we wear the same clothes? Do we like the same food? Do we date the same kinds of boys? How many Kennedy boys do you know? <laughs> well, is your IQ 140 like mine? Do you like musical theater like me? Doubtful. Uh, no. God, I mean, you know that like scientists love identical twins, all that nature versus nurture stuff. You know, they even pay people like us. Mm-hmm. Plus, you couldn't get much more different when it comes to the whole nurture thing. How so? <clears throat> well, like, you got some and I didn't. Yeah. I always imagined you quite happy out there milking cows and singing country and western songs and being Miss Wisconsin or whatever. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Well, it's like the most callous region in the United States. So. Look, defining question. British culture. Downton Abbey or Doctor Who? I'd say Downton Abbey. Oh, servants are so boring. And um, I haven't seen Doctor Who since I was a kid. You don't like Doctor Who? No, nor the phone booth that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Uh, so what was your one question? How long are you going to be here for? Oh, well, I mean, it depends. I was, I was really looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, likewise. Well, so what are you doing right now? For the next few weeks, we're going to be really tied up. Ever since Mommy died, I kind of became Dad's personal assistant. And, well, around this time of year, we usually go to our island. Well, we kind of, we kind of own it. Um, anyway, it's really rural, and we don't really answer the phone there, so... I mean, you'll still be here when we get back in a few months, right? You know, I think actually I'll just come to the island. <laughs> I, I really could use a vacation. You're, you're making me kind of uncomfortable. Oh, am I? I'm so sorry. But, you know, I've actually kind of been uncomfortable for the last 25 years. Especially between the ages of about 8 and 18 when Daddy was raping me a lot. Icky. Icky. Yeah, it certainly was. Tommy, Bella, do you have a, a beauty mark on your upper lip? You know, like just to the left? Yeah. They say it's more beautiful than the one Cindy What's-Her-Name had. Oh, good, good. And, and Tully, do you follow the news? What's the point? It keeps changing. <laughs> oh, so I guess you, you didn't hear about the death of Nurse Quinn? You know, at Massachusetts General. Massachusetts General? Yeah, yeah, where we were born. Do, do you have a sense of humor? Yes, Anna, I do. But look, what I really don't have is a preponderance of time. Oh, well, I'll be quick then. You know, Nurse Quinn. She had a great sense of humor. And when she died last month, went through her house and they found a bunch of documents. It turned out the way Nurse Quinn got her kicks. Swapping around babies, especially identical twins. Anna. Anna? <laughs> no, you're Anna. No, actually, I'm, I'm Bella. You're Anna, baby Anna with that beautiful beauty mark, which, I mean, I guess, legally speaking, means, well, you're now the adopted daughter of a bankrupt, three-fingered, pedophilic, alcoholic hedge trimmer, and... And I'm the daughter of a philanthropic, multi-fingered hedge fund manager with an island. Uh, where I think I'm going to be spending my summer ingratiating myself with Daddy. Anna, don't be unreasonable! I want to be a part of it, New York, New York, these vagabond shoes are longing to stray.